So we are close to the end of the session. I'd like to ask you in 30 seconds, if you, if you were to change something that could foster you know, uh, uh, new leaders and facilitate their blooming in the, in the next uh, decades, uh, what would you say you would, you would change? So for, for me, uh, as uh, I said sooner, um, I, I think that the common thinking is very, uh, very critical for what we have to build. Uh, I think it's uh, something like very useful uh, from, let's say, an academic point of view. Uh, it's very useful from a technology point of view. It's very useful from a politic point of view, where we bring young generation to contribute to something that uh, make them feel that they are uh, in the same history. And, you know, France and other countries in Europe are really tense now from many political uh, reasons. But I think that we should elaborate uh, out of this. This is my, my thing. Clément? Uh, with all due respect, I don't think there is such thing as a young leader. There are talented people uh, mm -hmm. in every sector, in the public sector, in the private. There are talented women in every sector, and I see we, we are only men on the table, I mean, uh, for the young leader part. Um, <laughs> but uh, we, we, need to, we need more um, places like the WPC, because um, we have the chance to speak out uh, so we, and I'm really grateful to be here and to, to be able to talk. Um, so there are talented people everywhere and we only need to mm. detect and give them the opportunity to, to speak out. Great. Farouk? Try to directly answer to your question. Mm. <laughs> so I think um, um, we're looking at the demographic pyramids of, uh, you can't call it a pyramid, demographic trees of, of Europe. Then we have, let's say, a big boomer generation that is now in all the power positions in, in our societies, in our businesses, in government, especially. It's a big problem, I think, because you, young, if you want to have young leaders, you have to promote young people to positions, right? And otherwise, you, you won't have young leaders. I might have stayed in government if the perspectives would have looked different. Good luck in, in the civil service. But it's not so easy to move up if you're in the minority in Europe. And I think there are some people... Uh, and there's a benefit of uh, young, dynamic leaders. Why? Because they look at the world with less experience, maybe naive, but bring dynamics to, to the table. And I think we need to deliberately uh, put uh, young people in positions of responsibility, otherwise we won't have them. Thank you. That's a um, very authentic uh, uh, testimony. I